If you have any questions that you want answered during the holy month of Ramadan, all you have to do is to send us a text on the following numbers. AfriCell on 2020-200, QCell 30-30-300, Comium 60-60-600 or on the Gumcell line on 999-0909. Your questions answered this Ramadan on GRTS. person has a dream to build a career path, a dream to be successful. The avenue to the world of success is built by passion, patience, sacrifice, drive, and motivation. In this TV series, presenter Abdullah Baji would be meeting successful individuals to talk us through how they made it to the peak and also offer expertise counseling to youth who aspire to become successful, develop and transform our beloved country. Issues confronting the sense of development of the young would also be discussed. Join me every Monday at 19.15 GMT. I'm your host, Abdullah Baji. Assalamu alaikum beautiful viewers and welcome to another edition of the Change Maker Show. It's a pleasure being back again and uh, of course, the Corte is fast approaching and we have a lot of happenings in town at the market, at the salons, a lot of issues happening just for the Corte. Without wasting much time, I just want to give, the op give this opportunity to my co-presenter to introduce herself and dilate more on our topic of discussion this evening. I am Zahra Jibril Jalo. Today, the topic of discussion will be young people and Corte. As we all know, the Corte is approaching fast and we want to know what activities young people do in the corridor. Our panelists tonight is... We have uh, Miss Hadija Tujonga. And we have Mr. Lady and uh, boy, or should I say <laughs> gentleman. You're welcome to the Chainmaker Show. Thank you. Um, Thank you so much. Just to start, um, Jibu, I would just like you to tell us from your own point of view what you think corridor is, not from a religious point of view. It's a difficult one. Thank you very much, Abdullah Baji. Salute Gambia and everyone watching out there. I think uh, in another point of view, different from a religious point of view, Korita is a special day. Uh -huh. Like any other day that people rejoice, people come together, families, friends and their relatives celebrate, sit together and enjoy a particular moment that they feel is worth rejoicing. Uh -huh. Life it's all about life some say it's all about having fun. So apart from religious point of view, I think uh, Korita is more or less a day that people really want to come together and That's share fun. one common thing that is to share fun mm -hmm. and to associate themselves to one thing that they lost during the days or during the past years that is association. Mm -hmm. I think in a nutshell that side of religious yeah. point of view it's that is Korita. Um, Hadi Jonga, um, Korita is always a very, very special day. We do see a lot of young people being involved in activities. And then, gee, I'm sure you'll be very much honest with you. Come to Gadi Oyarek Dalu. You know, especially with the girls. You see them going to the salons, fixing their pedicure, manicure, agio, you know. As a girl, now let me start from you as a person. How are you preparing for the Korita? Well, um, and, I, and, I, and I want you to be extremely honest with all of okay, us. Okay, exactly. Um, thank you for that question. I believe my preparations, like everybody else's preparation, is the same. Like, everybody is so enthusiastic for that particular day to come and then we rejoice with our families and friends, like Jibu said. But, you know, the way we prepare may vary because some of 